Hello everyone. I often find when I'm out walking or I'm in the car, and sometimes that can be for three or four hours or more at a time, that thoughts will come to me about the story that I'm writing or other creative thoughts. And because it's not safe uh, at that time to either write them down or to stop and write them down, those thoughts are just lost. Uh, but recently I have found a solution to that problem because I've started using one of these. It's a digital voice recorder. This one is the Sony ICD PX370. And uh, this Sony device has a number of advantages, one of which is that it's voice activated. It has voice activated recording. And basically that means that once a trigger level of sound reaches the microphone, the device will start recording. And when that trigger level drops away, the device automatically stops recording and it will wait paused until the trigger level is reached again. Now there is a built-in microphone that's not very convenient for use in the car, but there's also a headphone, a microphone jack. So I'm pairing this digital voice recorder with a lapel mic, a Lavalier mic. Uh, this cost about £10 uh, off uh, Amazon. It's on a two and a half metre cable and the microphone clips on the lapel just under my mouth. And it's sufficiently sensitive in combination with the digital voice recorder that in the car, even on noisy roads, um, the background hum of the road does not cause the um, recording to start. But when I start speaking, because I'm quite close to the microphone, my mouth's quite close, the recording will start and stop when I'm quiet. So far, so good. That means the thought has been captured, but as a writer, that's not very convenient because although my voice has been stored as an MP3 on this recorder, what I'd really like is for that speech to be uh, translated into typewritten words. Now you can spend lots of money for commercial solutions to that. I don't personally like spending money when I can avoid it. And uh, I found on the internet a free way of doing it. So as long as you've got an account with YouTube, this is the uh, solution that I found on Quora.com. There's the link if you want to follow it for yourself. And basically the procedure is that um, the MP3 file that's been created with your voice, you need to lift that off the digital voice recorder. This one's really easy to do because it's got a built in uh, USB connector. So lift off the MP3 file onto your computer and then import that sound into whatever video software you use. Um, for this task, I'm using Windows Movie Maker. Uh, it's very convenient. Uh, so I bring in a picture, doesn't matter what the picture is because I'm not interested in that, but the video file requires it. I'll bring in a picture and then use my voice, my recorded sound as the music soundtrack in uh, Windows Movie Maker. We'll then save that file as an MP4 and upload it onto YouTube. Upload it onto YouTube, publish the video, and then uh, when you're in Creator Studio, uh, edit that video and on the advanced settings, change the video language to English. Now, once you've done that, you do then need to wait. It is typically about 10 minutes, it can be longer, for YouTube and the Google APIs to uh, recognize your new video and to um, then add uh, subtitles from your, from your spoken word to the video. Um, so once that's happened, once those subtitles have been created, you can then go to your YouTube page and by following these steps, you can extract those subtitles as text. Now I'm not gonna keep talking about this. I'm gonna show you uh, an example. So uh, here is an MP3 file that I created. Um, it has some simple words, uh, only 15 seconds. This recording shows how you can use a digital voice recorder to capture your speech and then use YouTube and the Google APIs to translate your spoken word blah, blah, blah. into written text. It's some text, it's some speech. Now I've then converted in Windows Movie Maker that to a video file. This recording shows how you can use the same words are playing in the background on this video. The, pic the um, picture doesn't matter. I've then gone 
into YouTube. I've uploaded it into YouTube. And then here we have, I'm going to start that again so you can actually see it clearly. Let's go back. Hopefully my channel's going to load, it's taking a while. There we go. So here's my movie. I'm going to go into my movie. It's 15 seconds long, it's 15 seconds worth of text. We'll just let it start to play, it doesn't have to finish. There we go, it's loading up. This recording shows how you... Now, that's the button we're interested in, the one for subtitles. Uh, if the subtitles have not yet been created by YouTube, that button will be missing. Anywhere on this browser page, except for the video pane, if you right click, it will give you the option to inspect element. And if you inspect element, uh, some further um, technical detail about this particular web page is displayed to you in your browser. The thing we're interested in is the network panel. And there's not much in here at the moment. If I now click on and then deselect those subtitles, what will have appeared now is this hyperlink for a thing called timed text. Now, if I right click on that and open it in a new tab, here is my speech. It's very badly formatted at the moment for writing because it's an XML file, but this recording shows how you can use a digital voice recorder to catch your speech, blah, blah, blah. Not helpful in that format. What we want to do is save this as an HTML file, which will start to then strip away that XML markup. Whoops, HTML, there we go. This is one I did earlier, so yes, I do want to replace it. Now, let's bring this over here. Okay, so that's the uh, HTML file we've just created. It's gonna be formatted a bit more nicely than the file we were just looking at. So now it looks like English. Ignore the strike through, that doesn't matter. What I'm going to do is um, select everything on the page. I'm going to copy what was on the page. And now in a word processor, I'm going to use Word. You can use whatever word processor um, is your preference. What we can now do is paste that speech, that converted speech into the document. There we go. It's getting close now to our goal, isn't it? Um, what we don't like is the paragraph breaks between the text. So I don't know if it'd be the same in the word processor that you use, but for Word, getting rid of those paragraph breaks is really easy. Highlight the text, click on replace. We want to find, and then on the more button on special, we can find paragraph marks, gonna replace them with nothing, replace all of them. And there we go, the paragraph marks have gone. Now, the only thing you'll see is from line to line on that converted document, there's not as one word wraps into the next. I found that Word is pretty good at knowing what was meant. And with simple right clicks, you can, you can do that. So this was 15 seconds of speech. This recording shows how you can use a digital voice recorder to catch your speech and then use the YouTube and Google, Google API to translate your spoken word into text. So I've done this on long files. Um, today I did it on a half an hour file. The conversion was very good. Uh, and this was um, this was actually several uh, MP3s joined together. Even in windy settings with a lot of background noise and cars going by, the Google API has done a great job of recognizing my words, uh, even when actually I was struggling at times to hear them. So I hope you found that useful. It's a great way of not losing your creative thoughts in a simple way. That's all for now. Bye-bye.